Hi fellow traders, I hope everybody's doing good. I want to do a quick recap of the last two days. I haven't had a whole lot of time after market. This has been a pretty busy week trying to get prepared for some family stuff coming up and just didn't get a chance to recap, but I want to do these because I don't want to fall too far behind. Um, but we'll start with Monday. This was my only trade on Monday and it, it really started out to where what what I did was I anticipated the move. Here's the first five minute candle. Um, did not wait for the five minute low, opening range low to break. I just jumped in because you know we kind of went up and rejected um, red to green here. Um, came back through the two hundred. So I felt pretty confident that we were going to sell off, but I didn't wait. And even if I had waited, I still, you know, this wouldn't have, have worked out, but I jumped in and as this thing, you know, bounced and was showing me some strength, I just took it off um, and just covered it. I didn't wait for it to go back and stop me out because I assumed that that's what it was going to do. Um, but you can see that was a big mistake. I did not stick to my plan. I got in. I had my stop set. Okay. It never did come back and take to take out my stop. Never did. So had I got in and just let my trade plan work, I would have been profitable on this trade because eventually this did sell off and get to where I wanted it to go and it never would have stopped me out. Um, so this was a, a good lesson in, in the one that I've been trying to teach, but we are all susceptible to anticipating. And a lot of times this happens to me on Monday because I haven't traded all weekend. I'm excited. I'm ready to get the week going, especially if after a good week. It's just like after a big day trading, a lot of times the next day we lose because, you know, emotionally we're just, we're jacked up and we make bad decisions. And that's pretty much what Monday was for me. Um, so, you know, took it off here and then ended up getting back in and immediately got stopped out. So I just quit. You know, Monday was just a wash. I had to go to the doctor that afternoon anyway, so that I knew the afternoon was out. Um, but that was just it. And mentally, you know, this this killed me. And it was all because I made that that first mistake of anticipating the entry and then on top of that, I did not execute my trade plan. You know, again, that's why this exercise that we're doing in the roadmap to success is so important because that exercise is what helped me execute my trade plans without fail. And like I said, you, you're going to get excited. You're going to have days like this. But the beauty of it is you're able to recognize it. You're able to identify what the issue is and you have that foundation. I have that foundation that I can go back to and revert back to because I know exactly what I did. And I, you know, I won't be making that mistake again, you know, anytime soon. So, you know, that was on Monday, um, Tuesday, now, yesterday, really, really frustrating here. Um, so, again, I'm waiting. I get the opening range. I'm looking for the opening range breakdown. So, today, I didn't draw the line here, but, you know, this is the opening range low. I waited for it to break. I was patient. I waited. Okay. We started to sell a little bit. It did not work. It got bought back up. And, you know, I stopped out according to 
my plan. I stopped out. So as this one kind of went back, I'm like, and we pulled back and bounced off of VWAP here. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go long. Um, but here we're after 10 o'clock. So the five minute opening range trade is pretty much, you know, done. After 10 o'clock, I'm not looking at the five minute opening range to take trades. I'm looking at, you know, trend continuation. So I'm looking for the bounce. We caught the bounce here. First target was the daily 20. That's what this is. We came within a couple cents of it. And it got slammed back down. Okay, and those of you that were in the room, at this time, I pretty much became unglued. Because that's when you start to feel like the market is, is personal. And it's just against you. Because all of the other stocks that we had on watch made clean, beautiful breakouts or breakdowns. The one that I focused on because it had the biggest profit potential, which is probably my issue, is I'm looking for the biggest profit potential and not looking at the cleanest setup, so to speak. But, um, you know, that's when it really started to feel personal. But I kind of kept it together and I stuck to my trade plan. I remember yesterday, you know, I remember from Monday, look, don't cut it. Stick to your trade plan. Allow it to work. And, you know, we got it up here. I I couldn't catch it um, on the break up here, but I did get it. I was like 12, you know, cents away from where my target was. And I was fine. That's okay. That's acceptable. I didn't want what happened here to happen again and me not be able to take profit. And then it pulled straight back and stopped me out. And then, you know, I got in again on the bounce. And, you know, took profit right here again on that level. And then here's another dumb bonehead move. I got in. I was getting ready to go to lunch. And so that's why I waited because I got back in. And, you know, we took the profit here. And so, you know, I told you guys, okay, now I'm gone. I'll be back. I left and left my laptop. And so I couldn't cover up through here. I couldn't sell any. And I had to wait until I got back. By the time I got back, we were doing this. And so completely missed catching this last profit here. And so um, got stopped out. And then it looked like we were breaking down. You can see it just looks like we were trying to break down. We couldn't push up anymore. And we had this dip, this dip. So the third dip, I'm like, you know, here comes that anticipation. But I think this was a good anticipation trade because we just couldn't push. And so I was looking for it to sell off into the open. I mean, until, you know, coming out of lunch down to the VWAP. Um, we didn't. I got stopped out and I was like, okay, that's it. You know, obviously, you know, I'm just not locked in right now. You know, I'm up, down, up, down, up, down. All I'm doing is just scratching out the day. So... You know, I waited and I was like, we got some good earnings opportunities coming up. Let's jump on that. Well, today was the day I knew was coming. Yesterday was the day that I knew was coming. Um, you just don't be right or have 25 or 26 positive trades in a row without having one loss. And, you know, I knew that I was going to catch a loss on one of these these um, earnings trades. I knew it because you know it's coming. You, you, you're going to have so many losses for so many wins. But if your strategy has the edge, you're going to win more than you lose. And today, and it really wasn't the market, so to speak. 
I just, for some reason or somehow, I miscalculated earnings. Um, I, from the numbers I crunched, this should have beat on earnings per share. Um, but I was like eight cents off. This is the first time I've been that far off in a long, long time. And I was like eight cents off. And, you know, it, I guess this should have given me some indication, but this has happened so many times before. And then when earnings were announced, it, you know, shot up. And that's kind of what I was waiting for. But oftentimes you don't get a huge, you know, wipeout candle like this. Um, but we did. And then we got the bounce, which I could have, you know, gotten out and saved myself you know, a little bit of grief, but I was just waiting to see if we were going to, you know, ever come out. Um, but you guys know, if you were here with me yesterday afternoon, you know, I had to leave, you know, everybody was waiting on me from five o'clock and I'm sitting here waiting, waiting, waiting. So we had to leave and I try to get out of this when I see it breaks the low here and I'm like, okay, we're done. I'm trying to get out of this on my phone. I can't get out. Um, I can't get the orders to go through. And it wasn't until I was able to get a Wi-Fi signal. And it was just in the nick of time. You know, a couple minutes before 6. Or else I'd have been stuck in this position overnight. But fortunately, I was able to get a Wi-Fi signal on my phone. And I was able to, to get out of the trade, execute the trade. But... You know, it was a little bit scary, nerve-wracking, and all of that. It wasn't the fact that I was wrong that, you know, shook me. It was the fact that I could not get out of the trade. Um, because where we were, myself, the cell um, tower is crappy. And I just couldn't get any real good internet signal. So it was it was a little bit stressful. But this is what I've been in a in a sense waiting to show you what can happen, which is why I don't want newer traders, traders that do not have, you know, a halfway decent size account to really try to trade these. Um fortunately I didn't go in five hundred shares on this, which I could a lot of times on these twenty dollar stocks. I'll go in 500 shares, especially when I have good conviction. But I only went in 300 shares. And, you know, it was bad enough. So this is only a, a really small drop in the bucket compared to what I made over the last, you know, three months. Um, just a small drop in the bucket. And I expect to have a couple more losses um, over the next several months. Um, hopefully, they're not as huge as these. Um, but, you know, it's, it's what we have to deal with. And if we're going to trade, we're going to have to accept days like today. So the last two days, you know, I was so excited Friday looking at the numbers. I'm like, this is going to be a huge month and then Monday and Tuesday you know I've I've given back you know 13 1400 bucks uh, so you know not very not very confident going into the rest of this week and then you know starting the month out on Friday Friday's going to be a half a day for me, so, you know, I don't know if I even just probably wait till Monday and trade. That's kind of what I did at the beginning of February, and it worked out pretty good, so I may just wait until Monday to trade starting out March, but we'll see, see how the rest of this week goes, but I just wanted to do this real quick um, so I can get this posted today. I don't want to get um, too far behind on on my recap so 
you guys hope you guys have a great day um kind of did some meditation so i can be ultra focused here and and we can move forward so hopefully this afternoon or this evening i will have a lot better um recap for you